Veronica Stein, Mad Scientist, Book 6, The Fran with Four Brains, Chapter 1, Franny's House. The Stein family lived in the pretty pink house, with lovely purple shutters, down at the end of Daffodil Street. Everything about the house was bright and cheery. Everything, that is, except the upstairs bedroom with the tiny round window. The window looked in on a bedroom where one of the busiest mad scientists on earth was working away to keep all of her projects and experiments on schedule. She had a colony of bearded slugs that needed to be shaved each morning. She had a giant centipede that needed help with her shoes every day. She had her own breed of soy plant that had to be milked daily. Franny's lab projects were a lot of work, but Franny truly loved mad science, so she never minded putting in the time. Chapter 2 Franny's School Franny also liked school. Her teacher, Miss Shelley, was great and she always kept the kids busy with lots of challenging projects. Already that year, they had spent time studying dinosaurs, poetry, and even ancient Egypt, which Franny really enjoyed, even though her extra credit project ate a custodian. Miss Shelley later made Franny unzip the mummy and release the custodian unharmed. Although Franny protested and said that everybody knows mummies eat people every once in a while and that custodians should know better than to get too close. Great teachers like Miss Shelley always keep a little pressure on, and every day after school, Franny had to make time for her homework. Some days it was easy, like when it was about electricity, organs, or strange chemical reactions. Some days it was hard like when it was not about monsters, or atomic radiation, or electronic brains. But no matter how long it took, Friday also had to make time to play with the lab assistant, Igor. He wasn't a pure lab. He was also part poodle, part chihuahua, part beagle, part spaniel, part shepherd, and part some kind of weaselly thing that wasn't even exactly a dog. Franny had learned that not paying enough attention to Igor was dangerous. When he got too lonely, he tended to misbehave. And Igor knew when Franny needed attention. He was really good at sensing when her schedule was getting too tight, and he was always trying to figure out ways to make her laugh. Sometimes it was juggling chainsaws. Sometimes it was alligator wrestling. Sometimes it was wrestling alligators with chainsaws. Recently, he started dressing up like Franny and imitating her, and that would always make Franny laugh so hard she could hardly breathe.
I am Franny. I mix chemicals. <laughs> Stop that, Igor. Always that is, except when Franny felt overwhelmed by the additional load of her extra activities. I'm Franny. I make monsters. Stop it, Igor. I'm just not in the mood tonight. Chapter 3 Getting Weaker by the Week Franny's mom always drove her to her weekly extra activities. One day a week it was soccer, another day it was gourmet cooking, and another day it was bagpipe lessons. Franny liked the extra activities, but sometimes she felt like they were a bit too much. Some days she was in a mood to just hang around her lab doing regular kid things, like playing with her toys, or reading books, or bringing a monster to life through the application of a jillion volts of electricity. But her mom wanted Franny to have the opportunity to be the best she could be, and try new things, and learn about stuff they might not be teaching at school. Franny's mom had told her that it was important to do her best, and always strive for excellence. Franny understood that her mom was right and she worked as hard as she could to be excellent, even when it made her very, very tired.